Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Mogeko Castle, Part 5. Previously at Mogeko Castle, we met Mogeko, who promptly wanted to use us as toys and tried to kill us. Thankfully, we escaped while also taking a few souvenirs of her panties. So where are we exactly? Didn't we take an elevator? No, a secret passage. So you're saying this door is critically important to the plot and I can't go in here yet. Also, these paintings are deep and symbolic. Mokiko Hospital. Do you guys all suffer from hay fever or... or lack of prosciutto? Seems no one wants to talk to me. Hay fever. A chronic killer. I kind of like that description. A picture of something. Okay. Let's go left first. Oh man, they're playing the Grey Garden on TV. But everyone looks so happy in comparison to this world. It's a broadcast of the anime, The Grey Garden. Stephanie. We refuse anyone reeking of cigarettes. So Mogikos apparently can't smoke, but they can do everything else. So we came to the hospital to stock up on weapons. Yeah, man, don't you know? Every hospital has some kind of weapons lab and weird experiments going on under it. Occasionally bad things happen and it all breaks out and overruns the place. See? I was right. What's up? This game just likes foreshadowing your next span and... There's an enemy monster thing out there that likes to eat people. But we should be fine if it's caged up. What floor? Second floor, I guess. So I was looking at VG Person's Tumblr, and she mentioned something interesting I never noticed. Woman. The 
just a bunch of Mogikos. Hmm? I always love pushing switches. Good things always happen. Oh, so this is where the breakout happened, huh? Ah. A bloodstained bed. I see some of you survived. Man, you got the worst of it, I see. Locked. Huh. He's been traumatized by these events. Seems Mogiko is pretty damn sensitive. Yonaka cracked open the door and peered through. <laughs> oh, nothing. I just stared into the face of evil. Oh, that was no big deal. Hot spray. Hmm. It seems this Mogiko was saved by these conveniently placed, uh, furniture. Are you, are you a zombie? Yes, you are. Seemingly, they don't care about me, though. There's something kind of funny when zombie Mogikos are absolutely friendly, but normal ones are absolutely deadly. Prosciutto. Hey man, I've done this to every single one of you I've met. I gotta stay consistent. Weapons, huh? We need guns. Lots of guns. And my axe. Those were the days when re reading act die hard. Sometimes people died, but it wasn't really a big deal. Rocket launcher. I really think we should have taken some of these guns and axes, but rocket launch air will do, I guess. Ooh. 
Ooh, a red button. Mogiko got a good idea. Mogiko gonna release the tyrant. It's time for a long backstory dump. Complete with flashback filter. Once, there was a lonely individual, unable to bear his solitude. He made a kingdom solely for himself. He became the king of the land. A kingdom needs a castle for its king. So the king made one right in the center. This is that castle. But there was nothing inside the castle. It was just a world of nothingness. The king pondered, and he made seven mogikos. Those were the special mogikos. They were put on each floor to serve as that floor's guardian. Then the king made many more mogikos. When the land became much busier, the king looked upon it and was very satisfied. So what's the point of all that again? Ogeko. I should have known. So here's another one of these kind of hallway areas. What's wrong? You're lost. Aren't we all? Isn't life just a series of events causing us to become lost? Sometimes you spill your milk, causing you to trip over yourself. And every day you're transported to a castle full of yellow things. I wonder what's strange about this place. I wonder if it's a series of rooms with dead mogikos in them. Nah, I think it's the drab architecture. Defect mogiko. True moe. Oh. Hey, I'll free your friends. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. I'll push this red button. Yes. Hi.
<laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not my fault. I felt so compelled to do it, like I had no option. I like that one. Now this game wants me to feel bad. They set them up to be such horrible people, and now they're like guilt, guilt tripping me or something. You guys didn't see anything. I just realized cold cell cold hall I think that's kind of a pun or something like it's maybe cold like temperature wise but it's also we have to be cold to each other because that's what you do in the cold hall hey you tripped I don't feel anything about it in fact I'm gonna take your prosciutto like that. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, public service announcement, huh? Are you planning to kill me? Capture the high skill girl defector. Hmm. I think they've been trying to do that. Even before, since you met me, but... Oh. Use the rocket launch here. And then you're out, go right! Let's go in the one of the red blood! Yeah. I'm not sure I want to. I already have 99 of your panties, by the way, so I don't think there's much you can give me.
Oh. That's interesting. Take this, the might of Earth, a rocket launcher bomb. Don't worry, my guts and courage will support me. Yeah. I mean, I, I was thinking this was Resident Evil, and the rocket launcher usually is the ultimate weapon that works, but in this case it was actually Final Fantasy and she cast the Reflect. Uh, it's a common thing to happen. Can't run from me! Oh shit, he's not running at me! Till the ends of the earth. It's the FOE, Mogiko. He's so fluffy. Mafuru. And then we can finally take a lot of selfies. Statues are so fluffy. I want to touch them all. Oh my god, there's a colony of fluffies.
Yeah. Oh. Just too fluffy. Too fluffy for this world. Fluffy decorative flat. Fluff, who the fluff are you? Fluffy book. Everything's fluffy here. Writing it really has a lot of fluff. Hey, it's one of those fluff parasites. You said they weren't contagious, right? Oh, it's some weird bug. It's adorable. So I do like tea, Fluff. I think it's about time we got out of here, Fluff. Fluff Path. Souls of dead Mofuku become stars, which fall on the land.
Finally, I could be so grossly incandescent. Praise the prosciutto. And that's it for Moga Co Castle, Part 5. Well, this has certainly been the most light-hard part of this game I've seen yet. I mean, we had some zombies, we had some rocket launchers, and we had some fluff. A lot of fluff. It's so fluffy I can die. Anyway, there's not much I can say about this floor aside from that. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for Part 6 of Moga Co Castle, Fluff.